Okay, what I got here for sale is my 1952 Willis Aero Ace Coupe. And a uh, very neat car, different, unusual. You'll be the only one at the party if you show up with this. So what I did, the car was very solid. I have some pictures of it when I stripped it all the way down to the uh, metal. And I found some rusted spots right here. And I'm getting old. I forgot to do these down here, bubbles. But overall, this car was a 95 percenter. I mean, it's really nice, uh, clean body. So uh, I went through it, and the first thing that I did, it well, and there was rust across the front here, and I fixed it. This this was pretty bad here. I guess the water sit out in there, and I got it done. But the car, the car is solid, and this, is the engine in it. It's a uh, 283 with a uh, turbo 350 that I just had rebuilt in it with a new torque converter. And uh, I put a straight axle under the car with uh, Jaguar rotors and calipers. And the wheels on the car are Jaguars. Uh, brand new electric fan new radiator, the engine, uh, I don't know much about it other than it runs good, doesn't smoke, sounds good. And uh, it's got aluminum intake with a Mallory distributor, new plug wires, uh, fuel system, works good. I've got an electric fuel pump on it and as well as mechanical. And I just use the electric to charge it up where it will crank. And I don't even have to do that. It cranks up real good. So it's got a new master cylinder, new shocks on the front, and I can't remember whether it has new ones on the back, but the uh, car is in great shape. It had new upholstery put in it, and uh, got to put the front and back seat in it. The floors are solid, they're not original. The guy before me cut him out. I don't know what was wrong with him or anything, and he put new metal in. But it solid. The fenders up here, they're all solid. There's no rust any place in here. No rust on the sides. And again, had some rust. I think this, this one's not bad. The other one was uh, a little bit worse than this, which this one isn't bad at all. Okay, and then on the back of it, I got a uh, fuel cell and a new battery, new fuel cell. It's all wired. It uh, needs to have more wiring done to it to clean it up. I've just got to this point and want to move on, and uh, I keep it battery off of it in case nothing's happened yet but just in case so you can see the trunk was real good in it all around here was good it had a little rust right in here and uh, some, you can see some pitting here but the biggest problem with the car is the person that owned it they would uh, it had some scratches down in the metal and dentures so i filled them in and i've got all the chrome for this i've just never put it on it's in the back seat of the car and you can see it's uh there's the visors the where armrest it's got uh, windshield wipers and everything in here so it's, i don't know can you see down there where i put Oh, yeah. You know, but that was the worst place on the car other than the hood across the front. The rest of it solid at the rock. But it closes nice, and it just needs everything straightened up a little bit. I've got these pieces that go in here, and the uh, car would be a really nice car. I don't, you can't see underneath it, but I've got a 10-bolt rear end, 
It's got a brand new drive uh, shaft. You can't, but my camera can. Okay. <laughs> That's beautiful frame. And I got videos of the underside. It's uh, fully detailed and very nice. New exhaust too, right Fred? Yeah, brand new uh, exhaust system on it, mufflers. It's just as nice on the bottom as it is on the top. Oh yeah, it's probably nicer. I spent a lot of time under there. But let's see if it'll crank up. You want me to move this fan? So smooth. Yes. And, uh, yeah, it cranks up, runs good. The carburetor needs a little adjusting, but the cranking up and the electric choke needs to be hooked up on it. Okay. It opens up. But uh, yeah, this thing is really nice. When I first built the car, I put a 390 with three twos on it, and I cut the fender wells out to put the headers in. Then I changed my mind and says. I'll put this 283 that I had here in it, which is a better engine for it. And uh, it runs like a clock, and it is for sale. Okay. And uh, I'm asking $10,000 for it. And I don't think you can replicate it for 10, but that's what I want.